I, I where well. the fuck is your costume? I have been dressed like uh, whatever Joker version this is. I don't even know. Since eight o'clock this morning. You look like because... Lady Gaga. Yeah, great. You do. That is exactly what, the look. When I when I when I logged into this call, I thought you were Lady Gaga. Okay, great. I forgot. You know, I, I remember. You didn't earlier. forget. No, I've been texting I you I every day. Today. What are you going to be? What are you going to dress up as? So what this is I what say? started. Just so you know, uh, Sammy P's show, Clay's oh, show. Everybody's yeah. like, hey, are you going to dress up? We would like our guests to dress up. No problem. Mm -hmm. So we decided we were going to do a Halloween episode. I gave you the easiest layup ever. We, All you have to do is we're you in You and I decided? You and I decided we were going to do a Halloween show? You're in that oh. chat. Stop it. Did I say anything? You could have went on Amazon and got a ref shirt or worn a Washington <laughs> football, whatever the fuck shirt yeah. and just made up something. I think when I, just as I go about my normal day, I am PC principal just in general. This is PC principal. I'm PC. Yeah. So I, think I think you're I'm an good. asshole principal. How about that? Well, you're no fun. No, no and I'm not. I, I even suggested wearing a pug suit. That could have been fun. Yeah. I like pugs. I like yeah. pugs a lot. I like Mario. But here we Kong. are. So now I look like an asshole because I'm the only one dressed up. Why do Halloween you think, edition of Kelly and Murray? Why do you think you look like an asshole? Because you look like Lady Gaga? Because I have red lipstick from ear to ear. Did and you ha, see ha, ha, me? Written all over my face and my hair slicked back with green hair paint. <laughs> my favorite Halloween tradition is getting the reminder from the casino that guests are not allowed to wear masks because the cameras have to see their faces. That always makes me laugh for reasons that we don't need to get into right now. What oh, about- boy. I, I would like to not get into that. Uh, what about, uh, really quickly, the Dodgers win the World Series. Not a great result for the house. A lot of those games went over. Not a good, not a good betting World Series for us. We, we didn't do well in the World Series. Um, Sad that it's over, but I was I was pivoting to Ariel Epstein because I wanted you to tell me about your guys' trip to Manhattan, Kansas for KU Kansas State. How'd that go? It was great. Less than 48 hours. I got to take her to two of my favorite restaurants. Got to meet some people mm -hmm. from college. Drank a lot of chuckle shots. I did not do all the things I was supposed to do for the tailgate, like, you know, take photos or video because right. it's 80 proof. So... That tells you cool. anything about uh, how the tailgate went. We had a cool. lot of fun, and uh, we went on the field for a little bit before the game. Got to do the uh, national anthem down there. First time I've got to experience that, so I really enjoyed that. And then K-State won. Uh, not the final score I was hoping for, but ultimately they did not beat themselves, and I guess that's the most you can ask for in a rivalry game. Yeah, that's good. Did you see, uh, was Andy Samuelson there? Our mutual so friend. he called me. I answer. I say, where are you? He says, yeah. section 13. I say, perfect. I'm in section 14. And then never heard from him again. I call him at halftime. His phone is dead. Call him after the game. Shocker. So Andy, Andy was at the game? God, Literally. Like, in the, like oh, I'm in section shot. 14. He's one section over. Like, it's been very easy for Ariel and I to meet up with him, go to the beer yeah. garden, have a cocktail, whatever, yeah. and he was nowhere to be found. Shocker. I, just sometimes I worry. I mean, he might be too much of an elitist to hang out with you. I mean, he's always traveling to all these different sporting events, and I don't know if he has enough time in his, his, his calendar for you, kid. I mean, I'm sorry to say it like that. Probably. Speaking Friday, of calendar, I royally fucked up mine uh, yeah, for next week. Uh, so I just realized that my I booked a flight for Friday, but of course I did because – it would make sense. I have a ton of shows on Thursday, but for mm -hmm. some reason I kept thinking like when I was there in August, I was coming in on Thursday. Turns out I'm coming in on Friday. So I think for my schedule and my life, it makes more sense to keep it that way. But that means I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you eating oh. the rum ham live. So I think you should just have to eat the rum ham on next week's show. Cause no. that was the bet. No, 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 no. You, you, you're not even going to be here for a live show. So I'm off the hook for the rum hand. No, you you're not. Uh, what if I, I I'll, I'm sorry. If, I scheduling wise, I totally, uh, muffed the punt. And this week we only found this out because our great marketing director, Chris O'Brien 
told I told her to come do we're doing a live show on the seventh. She's like, Oh great, I'll come. And she goes, Wait a minute, Kelly told me her room checks in on the eighth. So we looked into it and it turns out you're so we are going to miss each other because I'm I'm on a red eye flight back to Virginia after work on the seventh. I got to go meet my new nephew James Murray. The good news in is Virginia. I will be there to put in our survivor pick instead of yeah, you. Let's, that let's would be dicey. That. I would have to change it to Thursday if that was just the case, but we are in luck for that. Let's talk about that. So we used what? What did we use last week? Denver Broncos. Denver. So of course they have they had to turn the ball over on the first possession of the game. <laughs> and immediately fall behind. But from there, and I was, I was like so hungover, I couldn't even send the whelp. It was a great season text. <laughs> like that, I just was like eating yeah. Vista Burger with Aunt Helen and Ariel, and like yeah. the manager was such an awful human being to the employee behind the counter. And I was just like, someone just get me. I just get me a double cheeseburger. Just get me out of here and get me on the road. And I like look, and I'm like, oh, wonderful way to go, F Broncos. Seven. They fumbled, on the, they fumbled on the first possession. They fell behind 7-0, but from there, it was all Denver. Denver, they won the game very easily. They beat Carolina 28-14. So we get to week nine. Now, here are the options in week nine. And maybe we should have our guys – I like interactive stuff. Maybe, oh. we should have our, maybe we should have our guys put a poll out there. And then fade our no, audience? No, our, fade our audience. They're the ones that gave us Connecticut in the NCAA tournament. Why would we do that? Okay. So I'm not – look, I'm not committing to using the audience vote, but I, I do want to know what they think. The main teams we're considering are – and I'm not going in order, so don't jump down my throat there, Lady Gaga. But the New Orleans Saints, they're at Carolina. The Cincinnati Bengals, Ugh. they are at home against the Raiders. I don't like that one. The Minnesota Vikings – they're at home. That's apparently Sunday night football. They're against the Colts. The Colts have Joe Flacco now. Joe Flacco's back in there for the Colts. The, there is this option, which I don't like, and I know Kelly doesn't like it either. We do have Baltimore available to us. I'm just pointing it out. We have Baltimore available. We do. And then Kelly mentioned this morning. Chris mentioned this morning. Kelly, Kelly mentioned this morning. Why don't we put our nuts on the table? Chris? That was Chris. I, I, I can't remember who it was. And Chris. using and using the Titans at home against the Patriots. The good news and, is, I just I just got done doing a show with Clay, and he's a Titans fan, and he goes, "Oh, the yeah. Titans are absolutely going to lose that game." I'm like, "Maybe are they the, the Titans. Are, are they the worst team in the NFL? The I mean, no. I don't know. I don't look. I don't know. I don't like the idea of using the Titans, but I I I don't want to use I don't want to use uh, Baltimore. Excuse me, I don't want to use Baltimore. We, we can't. can't use Kansas City. We can't use Philadelphia. We already used them both. We can't use Buffalo. We use them too. So now we're starting to run into a situation where we got to make a tough decision. I think it's New Orleans. On the road in the division. I, Holy I think it's fuck. You're asking me to break a lot of rules there, John Murray. You, you say on the road, but how many fans are going to be there for the Panthers? I mean, it's like, it's like it's one of those things where it's like technically a road game. I don't know what you mean, How hurt is Derek Carr? I don't know, but Derek Carr is back. The Saints, they got I don't know either. The Saints crushed these guys when they played the first time. I, we can we can table that. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think we should do. Well, I so the other thing is we're still alive in Splash. Yeah, and so who do we, we use Detroit and Splash. So we Detroit, used Detroit last week. So we've okay. used Buffalo, Washington, Jets, Bears, Broncos, Chargers, Rams, Detroit last week. I think last week we just took the quote unquote easy layup with the Lions. Now oh, weeks twelve through eighteen, we have to take double picks, right? Yeah. So I've yeah. got a completely different spreadsheet, which I guarantee you haven't looked at. So I'm glad I've you know wasted all my extra free time I, on this. I have looked at it. You know, I got a lot. I got a lot going on. Yeah, but you, know? you whatever. Okay, so <laughs> taking like. Okay, so let's just say we take Baltimore, Kansas City. Okay. Then it gets really tricky week 11, and that's not even a double pick week. Um, well, what if, where I would start with for the splash one, do we have do we have the Eagles? Yes, we have them available. That's not a, I mean, I don't think that's a bad option. Um, I, I would look at that. I know, I know we have Minnesota because we haven't used Minnesota in either contest. Yes. That's an option. 
We do have in Splash, one difference is we do have Kansas City available. They're the biggest favorite this week. I'm not saying I want to use Kansas City, but they are the biggest favorite available this week. They play Monday night at home against Tampa Bay. Maybe that's an option. Right, but I think we need them week 10. Uh, I'm sure we're going to need Kansas City more than more than once. I mean, they're, Right, but they're you know, then we could, we could also use the Bears week 10. They're an option. Uh, there's a, there's, there's options. It's just tough. Cause like I'm trying to map out weeks 12 when you got to do the double pick. That's what I'm like, gonna, like I'm week 13 looks terrifying. Room. we got a bunch I'm of little baby favorites. I'm cut. Well, we don't know that. Do we, we don't know what quarterbacks are going to get hurt. Okay. We always have this conversation. We don't know that for sure. We don't okay. know who's going to get hurt or what's going to happen. Like we didn't know. We at the start of the year, did you think that the Redskins were going to be a double digit favorite against Carolina? The Broncos or that, or that Denver would be a Denver closed a 13 point favorite in that game. And it was I, pretty much saying, never like, in doubt after the first quarter. Like, I think Kelly, like Kelly does a really good job of mapping it out for us and kind of laying out to our guys what we're thinking. But you start talking about, I, I kind of tune you out when you start talking about like week 17. I'm like, we yeah, but what, okay, like we, we can't week use Baltimore like. this week because of Christmas, unless that, we're all in on the Bears. No, that I agree with. I, I, I'm with you on that. In Circa, it's different because of the holidays. I agree. But in Splash, where you got to make two picks a week, and I just don't know what these lines are going to be. I know what they would be if the teams played on Sunday, but I don't know what they're going to be in seven or eight weeks because people are going to get hurt. Okay. So that's my that's my point. That's fair. That's I fair. am going to. I'm going to cut the survivor talk because I feel like people get Hate sick us. of it. But I got one more question about it before I do cut it. At what point? Because there's less than 200 people left in Circa. It's a 14 million dollar prize. At what point do we stop talking about it on the show? And stop talking about not that anybody cares about our thought process. I'm just saying at what point, like I wouldn't want to be talking about what we're thinking if there was three people left, right? I think I we're would, okay. We're okay. I now would with probably 100. say let's get through Thanksgiving. Okay. And you know, that's a few weeks away, right? What's that? Okay. A month away? It's about a month, yeah. Four weeks. I think if we get through Thanksgiving, it's probably time to shut the fuck up. I don't think you can say that on the show. I don't think you can say fuck on the show. So I'm I'll just let trying to get guys, in the character. I'll, <laughs> I'll let the guys edit that out. NFL results this <laughs> this week. They really weren't that good for us again. You know, the... Uh, I had a really that, good NFL week. It was this close to going 5-0 and oh in the Super Contest. But I did go 5-0 and oh in Splash. So I'll take that. What about this? What about this? You're, you're, you, you tweeted at our, our mutual friend, Ben Fox, because Ben had Ben had mentioned that he got some plays from Jeff Sherman, my colleague. And you said, like, where did, why didn't you give me these? And I gave all three of those plays out on this show last week. Yeah, I wasn't, in front of, I wasn't in front of my desk. Huh. So well, that, that was a little unfair. Can we admit that? Yes. That was unfair. But <laughs> the book did not really do well. The, the Hail Mary at the end of the Redskins game was not good for us. Ooh. That was, that was insane. The the 49ers covering on Sunday night football against Dallas. Not great. Not great for us. Kansas City game landed seven. It wasn't good. It wasn't very good. I'm really happy. Tonight is the last night of October. There is an NFL game. I can't wait to turn the page. NFL results in September were very good. NFL results in October have been very, very bad. It's been a very disappointing month. Didn't do well in the World Series. We need to rip up this calendar, start November 1st, tomorrow. I'm excited about it. You want to do – you don't like recapping because you're you're a forward thinker, so you don't want I, – I, I like that about you. You're a forward thinker. So forget about the recap. Do you want yes, to – Yes, forget about my 1-3-1 one, and one college football Saturday. That was <laughs> awful. Forget about K-State almost losing to KU and costing me a great plus $500 money line bet. And uh, Oh, yeah. that's right. What happened with that guy? Uh, he had to pay quite a few people so far. I've received three dimes, but I'm not like putting the pressure on yet That's because $3,000 for you normal people at home because three, three dimes is $3,000. You get maxed out on like Venmos and things like that. So he asked this me is, today, this is, this is the I most have, illegal conversation I've ever been a part of. I'm very, I took no comp- rank. I'm, I'm very a, compliant. I, okay. So anyway, uh, yes, he still owes me two grand, but That's, that's okay. Again, like I said, I understand. Apps get a little hung up every once in a while, and 
I wasn't the only one he had pretty sizable bets with, apparently. Why did, why did this kid think that this was a good idea for himself? I mean, he could if he wanted to bet on Kansas, what did that line close? Like 10? I, I think he was just that confident. And also at that oh. time, they hadn't lost their offensive coordinator to Penn State yet. He was that confident in Jalen Daniels. And the reality yeah. is sometimes fandom rots your brain. Sure. Like sure. I thought about, don't get me wrong. I thought about betting KU minus or plus 10. I really did uh, as like kind of like a hedge or a middle, if you will. But then mm-hmm. I kept looking at it and I'm like, KC should blow this team out. And there was a point right before the half where they should have scored a touchdown. Uh, there was a weird wonky fumble from Avery Johnson and there was multiple drop passes in the end zone or overthrown passes in the end zone where they had to settle for field goals. I mean, I think ultimately K-State could have ran away with that one, but the ball didn't bounce their way. And that's kind of what happens in rivalry spots, right? Like, I mean, yeah. as somebody who makes a living off underdogs cashing out, right? What are you going to do? I mean, Texas Tech last week, I probably that's should have won them on the money line. That's how you make your living. That's what you're yeah. saying. That's how you make your living. <laughs> underdogs cashing out right is that's yes. what's putting food that's what's putting food on your table yes i need i need no. outright underdog winners to feed my dogs i didn't want to i didn't want to say anything because i knew you girls were having fun but i i saw at the very end the very end that started coming in on kansas plus 10 and i remember thinking from like the really sharp accounts and i remember thinking to myself maybe i should kansas is probably gonna come Maybe you should have but, sent that text. That would have been cool. But no, here's the reality. Know, I mean, you, all day, time, people had – all day no, Saturday, like people like that I respect minute, were texting me, they bet Kansas. I'm talking like minutes before kickoff. I figured you guys oh. were – I, I mean, I, I'm not joking when I say less than five minutes before kickoff. So The I'm funny thing kick. was is I had two touchdown props, one defensive or special teams, which almost hit twice, did it. And then I bet uh, – so Casey has three tight ends. Two of the tight ends had touchdowns. The one I bet did not have a touchdown. Like, it's National Tight End Day. So I'm like, ah, I'm just screwing around. I'm like, oh, I'll bet. Is that, is a, that tight a new end. holiday, National Tight End Day? I'd never Apparently. heard that until last And time. we had a five-star tight end recruit there. So I think they really? – want. and my, my handicap was, okay, getting plus 400 with this guy. The other guy's plus 900. The other guy's plus 1,200. And I'm like, they're not going to go to a third-string tight end, right, who's no. going to lose his starting position to Lincoln Cure next year and give him like a – his like hero moment. And that was who scored the first touchdown. I'm like, yeah. And so I knew at that point when the second tight end scored, I was like, this is just, this is what's going to happen. You're very negative. And you know, I got to say it, it's I'm negative. It's, I'm just, it, yes, I'm a are. realist. It's seeping over to Ariel Epstein, uh, a young lady that I always thought was a sweet kid. I had a, uh, I told her that I'd bet on the, the, the Yankees to win the series. That worked out great for me. And she, made the same wager and she was very negative throughout the series yeah about, i am very glad uh, i did not going, listen to you she te- she literally texted me john murray bet on the yankees i'm gonna join him and i go well, okay i will look it into it and then they lost game one and i was like oh now's the time to bet the yankees and i did not i'll do one more recap story friday night we we bought out a suite at, at Elysian stadium for unlv boise state it was a lot of fun a lot of uh, a lot of personalities were there mitch moss very famous so it's the bottom of the 10th inning and like everybody in our suite has left the actual like suite seats and they're all crowding around in the main TV. area watching the TV. And I, I got the Yankees for myself. The book needs the Yankees. We also desperately needed the game to go under and Freddie Freeman oh, shit. hits a grand slam. Yeah. And it was, and if you saw the replay, the second he hit the ball, I was like, okay. And so, Everybody in our suite jumps up. Mitch is going nuts because Mitch had an over bet. And I love Mitch. But I had to, I was so annoyed. And I had to, after I got done cussing out Mitch, I went back to my seat. Oh, yeah, you cussed Mitch out? Yes. No, I love Mitch. Uh, let's go. Let's do your college football. Well, you want me to do the sharp plays first or you give your chuckle ham? There is no chuckle ham anymore. Uh, we they did that in the. Anymore? No, so because it's it's really hard to find double digit dogs that are gonna win outright this late. So like mm. I know who runs that, and they said, "Hey Cal, we want to sponsor you for football season." And we kind of said, "All right, here's how this is gonna work." And we decided nine weeks made the most sense, uh, oh. and that's what we went with. 
but I was going to bring a bottle of chuckle to give to you in Vegas. And now yes. I'm not going to see you. You still have to eat the Ooh. rum ham. I don't know. Maybe, is that? maybe I just that? change my flight to Thursday and I move everything around. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I've already moved shows. I've already moved my Thursday morning show. What airline are you flying on? Southwest, of course. Okay. I mean, I got Southwest points. We'll, we'll, we'll figure, we'll figure something out. We'll okay. figure something out. Um, what was I going to say? Okay. So chuckle, there is no rum ham. Was the rum ham last week, Missouri? Yeah, it was bad. That kid, that kid is that terrible. Was very, that was right, very bad. Me, you, you've been, you've been really good on those plays. So I, uh, never mind. That was, uh, that was not as bad as Purdue. I had two really stinkers of a play on that this year. Purdue was one. Mizzou was the other. Woof. Let's do the hottie threesome, and then I'm going to run through a couple of uh, sharp college plays I see. Arkansas, Arizona, Michigan State, you boosted it 35 to 1. Arkansas, Arizona. So Michigan State, correct me if I'm wrong because I'm I'm not that smart. It's hard for me to keep track of stuff. Michigan State is at home against Indiana. Is that correct? We are rooting against Michigan State. Or I'm sorry, rooting for Michigan State. Scratch that. We do not want Indiana to keep winning. No shit. We are big, big fans of whoever Indiana's playing. I know Indiana's got a trip to Columbus in a few weeks. They're going to be playing at Ohio State. I assume they'll lose that game. But we'd love to see them lose another game. So we would love to see Michigan State. Your coach, Jonathan, Jonathan Smith, went on, on Saturday. I do love him, and I've bet on him several times. I'm glad I laid off of them last week against Michigan, so that was nice. Last week was just yeah. not great. All the way I'm around. I gotta say, I'm really surprised you didn't have that because that was such a like quasi sharp guy play. Like yeah, everybody it, was on. I looked at it like five, and then I blinked, and it was three and a half. And I'm going, yeah. okay, now we're gonna ask him to win in the big house. I don't know. That offense is not that great. So the defense. If you want to back them, it's because you want to back them defensively, and they're gonna need to get a special team touchdown to win. Michigan's just not that team. I think. Nine, eight and a half. What are we sitting at at the Westgate? Eight earlier when I did my video. Yeah. What is it now? I think eight it's and half? seven and a half. I thought it's seven Ooh. and a half. Is it? I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. Um, double check for you, kid. But yeah, right. I mean, so uh, yeah, seven and a half. So here right. uh, we took a sharp bet plus eight. We're at seven and a half. So here is my biggest complaint of the week, whatever this is in college football, 10, whatever. So I'm at, I'm at that suite. I'm talking to a few of the guys. And one of the guys had mentioned to me that he went to the USC Penn State game a few weeks ago. And he and I get to talking about the game this week, Ohio State at Penn State. And I said something, just to, I was being serious. I wasn't like joking. I said like, oh, that crowd on Saturday night in Happy Valley is going to be so awesome. And then he goes, oh, no, no, no. The game's at noon Eastern. Big noon kickoff, Fox, baby. Ohio Ohio State, Penn State is at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Awesome game. Ridiculously awesome college football game. We are sitting right now at Penn State plus three. And I got to tell you, so far, most of the tickets and the money are on Penn State. I I don't love it. Everybody asks why I don't love Penn State yeah. here. I don't love Ohio State either. I think they have some real injuries on the offensive line that are concerned. I don't like the fact that they couldn't get the running game going the last couple of weeks since the mm -hmm. Oregon game. You never want Will Howard to be one dimensional and force him to have to throw the, the deep ball. Can he do it? Of course he can, but man, it, it, this doesn't look like a game that I really want to get involved in. I think it's going to be a really good game. I could see it going right. down to the wire, but I find zero value in betting either side. I'll fly through a couple more, a couple of these. We'll go to the NFL. I don't have a ton of NFL this week, by the way. I don't, I don't know why. The NFL, the betting has been quiet this week. There's not a lot. College football, Auburn minus six and a half against Vandy. Arizona State minus two and a half versus Oklahoma State. USC minus two and a half. Washington plus three. And Tennessee minus 16 and a half. They are Ooh. playing Kentucky. That's a cool game. So the that's – I don't feel like this is a great college football card. I mean, there's one game that's so outstanding. Yeah. That's one that, of, the SMU one of the game could be interesting. Games. Yeah, true. I mean, you're talking about one of the five best games of the year in college football, and they're playing it at 9.05 a.m. I'll be watching soccer most likely. At that no, time. whatever. It's yeah, going to be on in the Superbook with sound on like every single be. TV. No, I said I'll be watching. Liverpool's got a game Saturday morning. I forget what time. But I'll, I'll be watching – 
well, that's neither here nor there. Do you want to do the National Football League? Sure. So you know this about me. I am not smart. I make very poor decisions. And I have basically said every week that I like the Jets, the New York Jets, and they've never come through for me. They've lost. Yeah, they're the like. The only time they delivered for me was I used them in Survivor on a Thursday night against the Patriots, and they won the game very easily. And actually, if you remember this, it was week three, and the whole whole idea was let's use the Jets and hope for carnage on Sunday. And then there was like mass insane carnage on Sunday, and we were sitting at home with the Jets in our pocket. So the Jets, they haven't come through for me since week three. How about we say that? Yeah, that sounds about – I I can't tell you how happy I am that we have – already used the oh, Jets. Yeah. Like, th- that we don't even have to talk about them. Houston is a team. They've got a very impressive win-loss record, but they've continued to kind of skate by. A lot of close wins. They haven't really reached their full potential on offense. They go into this game tonight against the Jets. No Stephon Diggs. He's out for the year. He tore his ACL. No Nico Collins. So some real question marks there about how Houston's going to move the football. Sharp money here on the Jets minus two. We're at, we're at Jets minus two and a half. Really good action on this game. I mean, you you would think this would be like a crap game, right? But not so much. The handle's pretty good. We're 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 writing some money on on Houston. Excuse me, because we uh, we've seen some real sharp money on the Jets. Okay, well, I use the Jets in one splash. I use the Jets in yeah, that's it. No splash. one. Wait, no, one. I didn't use it in the Super Contest. I used it one splash. So a, a, a pick five. Pick five. Yeah. I just okay. want to make I, I do lean towards the Jets, but like the Bart Simpson chalkboard just always gets me. Mm-hmm. Like, I will not bet the Jets. I will not bet the Jets. I I think they're fucking hot garbage. But hey, what's but, with you in the F what's with you in the F word? Plus, I don't it's I don't one of those days. I don't think you're allowed to say garbage. There's a couple of words that I was told you can't say. You can't say garbage. Yeah. You can't make any more jokes about coins. That's what I was <laughs> no coin references and, and and no nothing with garbage. So come on. Don't do that, Kelly. Be be, be better than that, Kelly. Uh, I'll, I'll, bet, I'll do my best. They bet on, <laughs> on Sunday they bet Cleveland. This number's moved a ton. Cleveland, this number was more like four and a half, four on the look ahead number, three and a half on Sunday. I th- or maybe three on well, Sunday. Well, and then the Browns beat the beat the Ravens. Yeah, I mean, and now it's now it's uh, Cleveland plus one and a half. They're at they're at home against the Chargers. My guy, Coach Jim Harbaugh. Who I'm a big big fan of Jim Harbaugh. He's great. They keep betting the the Denver Broncos down. So the Broncos, they're. In the I told you, game. I think the Broncos are going to win that football game. Well, the, I can tell you that we've seen respected players betting Denver, taking plus ten. Taking plus nine, we're all the way down to seven and a half right now. Denver's on the road in Baltimore. Kelly texted us on Sunday and was like, wait a minute, are the Broncos good? And it kind of got me thinking, I- I'm not so sure that they're not. The one thing I will say, though, is they haven't beat a team with a winning record all year. Tampa, The wins at Tampa Bay and at the Jets, they looked more impressive at the time than maybe they really were. They caught the Saints on just the perfect possible week. And then their other two wins were at home against Carolina and the Raiders. So it's possible that they've just had the schedule break exceptionally well for them. I'm just saying. But, no, they are. Look, they've won five out of six games. Bo Nix is playing way better than I ever thought was possible. And I like Sean Payton. The defense is very good. It's impressive. It really is. I just realized who you are for Halloween. You've got these ridiculous-looking earbuds. PC principal. Yeah. No, and they remind me of that one guy with the really long square face. He's green. He's got the, the ear things. That's who really? you are. That's who I am. Do you know what his name is? I can't remember. Frankenstein? Is it I Frankenstein? Or is it the guy from the Adams Family, Uncle, like, Lurch or whatever? <laughs> I don't think you can be the Joker without face paint. No. I mean, like, so are you, how are you the Joker? Like, doesn't the Joker have all white face paint? Yeah, and my face is super white. It's like heavy dude. Like my it face is? is feeling like uh like really tight. And I have these stupid fake lashes on that I'm like, I'm gonna fly away. I it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. You did like all I'll sorts use... of bruising. Like she crushed it. Don't get me wrong, but 
do you how how do you react to like the children in the neighborhood to come to your house? Are you friendly? Do you shush them? I don't away? like to ever be home. I like to go out like with my nieces and walk right. around with them and like look at the scary costumes or the scary houses or whatever. Like it's like Christmas. Like certain holidays are for the kids. Like Fourth mm -hmm. of July. It was so funny. I had the girls with like sparklers. They're little. They're like three and four. They got sparklers. All, and the parents were like, oh my God, things are on fire. I'm like, it's fine. They've done this every year since they were really little. And they're like, and then I've got like the one neighbor girl. She's like, I don't know how to do this. She's like 10. I'm like, I look at her dad and he's like, yeah, we don't really do fireworks. I'm like, well, you're going to learn how to firework today. Cause I you're love giving, that kind of stuff. You were so giving, like, wait a minute. You're, you were giving strange children fireworks? They live in the neighborhood. It's but it's the same thing with Halloween. Like, I guess I could leave out a bowl of candy or somebody could be here. But for me, it's more fun to take the little kids out. Same thing with Christmas. It's more fun to watch them open up presents. Like, I don't know. Halloween is last year I did Halloween because Ariel and I got invited to a party. So that was super fun. But prior to that, I hadn't really done anything for the last couple of years. Like mm -hmm. Florida is not Vegas. Like you, you become an adult and to have your whole ass hanging out on Halloween doesn't really become a thing. Like in Vegas, like you're totally allowed to dress. It's just, have you considered, theater. did you ever consider getting an outfit where your ass was contained? Uh, yeah, of course. But I mean, right. It's like, if you're going to dress up, you got to go all out. You got to have fun with it. Awesome. And yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought on the continuum. All right, Browns, so. Broncos. Oh, yeah. What else Falcon we got? Falcons. So they keep betting Atlanta. Atlanta is not home against Dallas. You know, Dallas has obviously looked – they look good in the first half on Sunday night, actually. So that's not true. But they've struggled recently. Let's say that. Sounds like no Mike of Parsons for the Cowboys on Sunday. That line's moved up to – Minus three, minus 116. And then I'll give you two totals, two overs. They bet the over in the Miami Buffalo game. That game's early, over 48. And they bet the over in the Rams Seahawks game. It's a late game in Seattle. That, that game, the betting in that game has been very interesting to me. I'm very interested to see. They flipped it over to where the Rams are now one and a half point favorite on the road. I know the Rams have three extra days of rest after they won on Thursday night football last week against Minnesota, but I am surprised to see them favored on the road in that spot. Seattle is off a dreadful performance against Buffalo in which I had Seattle plus three in the local contest, a dreadful performance. Of course what, you had Seattle plus three. I did well. have Seattle plus three. What is your best bet and what is your barking dog? And then we can do the mailbag. Do it. Barking, barking dog is the Dolphins. Look, I think Tua, yeah. even though they didn't get the win last week, does look improved. Uh, mm -hmm. No no turnovers. Like the, He just needed a week to kind of get the kinks out. Defense didn't really help them on that side of things. This is a no. divisional spot, but let, let's be honest. This is the, the game to get right in. They are two Games back in the AFC wild card. If they want to stay alive, they have to beat the Bills. I hate that play, that scenario of like a must win, but I think that they're going to give it their must all. Win. So plus six is a lot. And then I like the Packers. Look, over 400 yards in total offense, the Titans got against the Lions. Mason Rudolph and the wow. Titans. It doesn't look that yeah. way because you look at the box score and you go, holy shit, they got their asses kicked. But the reality is they had some wonky fumble. They turned it over on the one yard line. These things like start to unravel throughout a game. And I didn't have a single, I didn't watch that game for a single second. It was a blowout. So yeah. I was watching games that actually mattered to me. And that was just not one of them. I just when, was, when Detroit, I'm sorry, when Green Bay was plus three, plus one oh two at that price there was some sharp money coming in on green Bay. So that's when they were at plus three and the price attached to it was plus money. I should note that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I took three and a half. Here's, here's the reality. The lions are not road favorites at green Bay ever. And maybe that's a testament to how good they really are. I know that a lot of people are concerned about Jordan love, but I made this comparison earlier and a lot of people are like, eh, I'm not sure yet, but I think Malik Willis is a very serviceable backup. I think he fills in well for Jordan Love. It kind of reminds me of when Lamar Jackson and Tyler Huntley kind of had that thing going as a backup where you know how to run the offense. You look similar. Does it really matter? I don't think you can say that. I mean, from a football, like if if you have a helmet on, you have a jersey on, and I don't have a number, and you I put the a, guy I, out I, there. 
You're an I asshole. Get us, I gotta get us out of this, right? I gotta, I gotta bail us. I gotta bail you us out. You gotta get into it. I, <laughs> I gotta bail us out. Uh, Green Bay. Let me tell you this. I, I mean, I'm wrong so often about the NFL. I mean, you could, you could just go on for days about how wrong I am. I used to make so many jokes about Jared Goff when he was the Rams quarterback. We called him Jared Goof. I thought he was like the puppet of Sean McVay. I thought he was nothing. You talk about a guy that I could not have ever been more wrong about. Jared Goff is awesome. He is running that offense so well. He's the best quarterback in the NFC. That's a great game in the afternoon. I know the public is going to bet the Lions. I know the Sharp guys are going to bet Green Bay. They already have. The public won like every game for the last five weeks. So hopefully we finally get one our way with the Packers on Sunday. That's gonna, it's a really cool game at Lambeau Field. Mailbag, sorry about cutting you off and exposing your, you know, you know. All right. Jack T. Vegas on IG wants to know, is there much handle for auto racing? Does F1 in Vegas draw interest at the book? This question is like a plant. Somebody planted this question to get me to go on a rant. Uh, there's a, there's sharp auto racing action. There's almost no. Okay, but rest- F one's coming back to Vegas, right? In a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I I believe it's like the weekend before Thanksgiving. I, I think. Right. The so, weekend. like the general public, do they come in and want to bet because they're going to the race? There might be a little bit of that. There might be a little bit of that. Very little, though. F1 is not a good betting sport because only a couple different drivers can win. Because Max race. wins everything. Yeah, and the auto racing handle is like 110% wise guy handle. It's just not good for business. And we waste an unbelievable amount of time on it. Next question. Okay. At Stubby Bets on IG says, how about a listener meet and greet? Murray is too important and busy to just approach true. at the Westgate. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with that. So what, what's the question? So pretty soon you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to just go out and shake hands and kiss babies. That's what a politician does. There's no babies. It's a casino. There's no babies. That's not, you know, it's not really fair. I I go out on Sunday. Okay. So how about this? Maybe if I can figure out how to change my flight, not charging me a bazillion dollars. And Mm -hmm. I, because I've already moved my schedule for Thursday. Mm -hmm. TBD. Let me see what I can come up with. What if, what if you had a meet and greet? And I'm just asking you this question. What if you had a meet and greet and nobody showed up? Would that like you would you be upset? Would that hurt your feelings? I've had meet and greets for with wager talk and plenty of people have shown up. Uh I don't I mean, I don't know. I had a tailgate last weekend and like not a ton of people showed up, but I tweeted it was a come here and like it was awesome and it was a good time. I don't think it's like a I think it's a quality, yeah. not a quantity thing, but okay. if you want to have a meet and How greet, did- I'll have one for you. How did Andy Samuelson not show up at that tailgate? Oh, he literally called me. I said, here's where I'm at. He goes, we're on the other, we're on the east side. He's like, hey, I'm on the west side. I was like, okay, I've got all these people here. I cannot leave what I'm doing and go to the west side. Where are you sitting? He goes, I'm sitting in 13 or 15, whatever side he was on. I don't even remember. I'm like, cool. I'm in 14. Let's link up. Yeah. I even saw Andy's friend after the game. He came up to me and was like, I don't know if it was Jackson. Oh, Jackson. There player. was a lot of people that came up to me after the game. I bet there. And were. I had been Andy, for like fourteen hours at that point. I would expect Andy to be in like section one, row one, seat A. I wouldn't think he'd be. He the, can't sit there because you can't get tickets there. At T S Pinky on X says, "Is there any sharp futures actions to report on college basketball with the season about to get underway?" So they keep betting on St. John's. You know, this is, I think this is Patino's second season there, and they keep betting St. John's. They bet us on UCLA. They bet us on UCLA. I don't know. There's not really anything on the big favorites. I know, like, the the teams people are picking, Duke has Cooper Flag. So so no uh, UConn future for us? No, not yet. But UConn's the favorite, right? I mean, I don't – let's see what they look like when the season goes, and maybe we can do the same thing again and bet, like, the – roll over the ticket in the tournament and have the rollover ticket pay like even money because they're have it, have it actually win money yeah, this time because they're like a 30 point favorite in every game that seems ridiculous all Next right the question. pint glass guy wants to know what are your favorite halloween costumes both of you have ever worn uh oh, man. i have to go ooh. back to when i was a kid i don't know favorite halloween costume probably is the jersey and boy shorts that i wore for halloween my first year in Vegas, 
because that hmm. picture kind of went a little crazy on the internet. You, it was all over well, message was, boards. and That was a Halloween costume? Every, uh, yes, initially oh. it was on Halloween and my roommate took the picture with the very first iPhone. That's how old I am. Is that right? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I'd have to I'd have to think back to like when I was a kid. I, I can't. When's the I last remember. time you dressed up for Halloween? Because you're no fun. I don't know. It's been years. I don't know. I, I'm a high level executive. I can't have fun. I'm sorry. Sorry. At Wise Guys Wager, Wise Guys Wager. Yeah. Now that we have a 12 team college football playoff, do you think there should be a next tier of 12 in a similar playoff format? No, I don't think that at all. I think they should just expand the playoff and let there be more games. I think there's no way you could ever go to a number that I wouldn't be in favor of. You know, like let's say it's a 64 team tournament. Great. That'd be awesome. Great for business. We're like, we're expecting much better handle in December and January this year because of the college football playoff. Because we had, we, we got down to where there was only three meaningful college football postseason games. Well, yeah, the because the bowl games just got wrecked with yeah. the opt outs and all. Like the bowl games used to be so much fun. I know. Are I we gonna are you, we gonna do a bowl thing with Splash? Did we decide that? Are we doing I would a? Like to do, I would I would love to do a bowl thing with Splash. I like like, like a, a bowl lot. pick them. Yeah. I think I need. Let me add that to my. Good idea. Whatever my to do list is. I think that would be really fun because it gives you some action. Maybe like look, like I give it whatever about the. I don't know, the the Lockheed the Martin time. War Bowl. But like yeah. part of me is like, well, that gives you a reason to watch it because you got it in your contest. I like it. I like bull pickums. I my when I was younger, my favorite thing to bet on was was college bowl games. I always liked that time of year. I like betting on the bowl games. It sucks that the last few seasons, because of the transfer portal and guys sitting out for the draft, that we you couldn't even really offer big limits on the bowl games anymore because they were all just information based outside yeah, they were. of outside of the two playoff games. And it was really disappointing. But now you're going to have four first round games, four quarterfinals. It's going to be great. To answer the guy's question, I would be happy if they made it a 16 team or a 32 team tournament. Why not? It's more games. I, who would possibly complain about more high level college football games? I would agree with you. It'd be great. Okay. That's it. That's it. So we've got to decide, are you coming here in time to do a show Thursday or not? So that you have to actually eat a rum ham. I I just don't know. I don't know. I got to look when I get done here and uh, see what see what uh, it's going to cost me because I'm an idiot. What about what about other airlines? Who else? What what what's the route? No, no, because no, Brett flies with me for free. He's a companion. So oh, not only is it eight hundred dollars to change the Southwest flight, I'm sure Delta, and then you have a layover, and then I wouldn't get there till later for my Thursday stuff that I already have planned. I, I, let me just look. I I didn't I. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, if you guys if you guys wanted to come in on Wednesday, we could just move your room up. No? No. Nope. That's a wager talk day. I got a full day of filming. Oh, sorry. So then I would have to move everybody like hours. They would not be very happy with me. Nope. That is not an option. Well, we'll we'll figure something out. Kelly. Yeah, I can come Tuesday, but if I had to spend a week in Vegas, I don't think I'd make it. Tuesday, you know what? You know what? Actually, you know, you should come Tuesday because Tuesday is a night where you should be holed up in a hotel room with a bottle of whiskey and you should be keeping all your thoughts to yourself if you catch my drift. And I can take away your phone so you can't tweet. That could be that's a good plan. Tuesday. That's the day. I'll talk to Chris. I'll get your room set up for you. 